My connection to the arts is music. I grew up singing in, in the church. That's how we communicate, that's how we relate. My first memories of performance go back to when I was in Pennsylvania growing up. My favorite thing was getting to be theatrical, to, to tell a story, and I've always brought that sort of narrative element to my live shows. I was just obsessed with singing, I was obsessed with dancing, but it started off with me in the kitchen, you know, with, with my socks on, trying to do the moonwalk. And I think that you need to choose something that you're so obsessed with, you just want to do it all the time. I was cast in 1981, just before we opened. I snapped my Achilles tendon, and I thought that that was my history with cats. But it turns out not to be. When I first heard I was going to be in Cats, whoo, instantly I felt the pressure. This musical is timeless. I just remember loving it. So when Cats became a movie, obviously, I jumped at the chance. I think it could really only be done by a director like Tom Hooper. He understands the spectacle of Cats. At the center of this incredibly entertaining, comedic, fantastical musical is a very timely story about the importance of inclusion and redemption. I think it just speaks really powerfully to everyone. There are so many emotions and we've got to update it in ways that I think are just so, so, so great. I came right off of a stadium tour and went right into rehearsals. Tomorrow, I start to sing my big number. Ta-da, show business. Directing Cats is like directing a group of world-class athletes. People like Lay Twins, or possibly the most famous hip-hop dance duo. In. And Frankie Hayward is such a fine, you know, he's one of the best dancers in the world, he's principal of the Royal Ballet. My favourite part of ballet and dancing is telling the story without words and how you can say that with just your eyes or your face or your body. I think it's amazing. We're also lucky enough to have Andy Blankenbuehler, who choreographed Hamilton. When you see people that are at the top of their game doing it, you raise your bar as well people coming together through all different corners of entertainment. You have some of the best hip hop dancers, Royal Ballet, some of the best tappers in the world. Everybody's working really long hours, rehearsing every day, and it's fun. The designer of sets, oh my God, what is this? It was so spectacular. It's just so much fun to play in. The scale of this film is huge, three or four times bigger for the cat perspective. It's a massive undertaking, a kind of Alice in Wonderland experience. Tom's pairing them with a kind of level of technology which I don't think has ever been used before. We've used digital fur technology to create the most perfect covering of fur. These are people, but they're cats, and this is kind of blowing my mind. There is nothing else like it. This is a moment for you to step into a world that's completely designed to entertain you. I just was like really excited and so honored to get to be a part of this. This film is an event.